After talking about flooding, I thought I should take a look at our dam systems, particularly we're at the Fern Ridge Dam right now. I've heard some concern in the community about this potentially being compromised in, in earthquakes, so I thought I'd come out here and talk to the experts to get some facts about it. My name is Matthew Chase. I am the Dam Safety Program Manager for the Portland District U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. I have been with the Portland District for 12 years, and I've been in this current position for a year. I started off by immediately asking Matt about the earthquake concern. Fern Ridge Dam is considered a moderate risk dam. I think first it's important to understand that uh, our dams are well constructed, well designed, and well maintained. Um, our dams typically perform well and have typically historically performed well during earthquakes. However, all hazards, all uh, risks cannot be mitigated, so we conduct routine risk assessments on our projects to evaluate the risk for all of the projects in the Willamette Valley. And the last risk assessment we conducted for Fern Ridge Dam was in 2020. We look at floods, we look at earthquakes, we look at everyday operations. Based on the performance and the hazard, we look at how that might affect downstream consequences. I was under the impression that a dam was just a big piece of concrete with a hole in it, so I asked Matt for some clarification. Fern Ridge Dam was constructed in 1942 in the war years. It has two basic major components. We have a, an embankment structure, which is called a zone earth fill embankment. It's approximately 6,300 feet long, 50 feet tall. It is actually an engineered structure. So if you were to take a cross section through the dam, you would see various zones and materials and those, it creates resiliency in the dam and it creates redundancy against seepage and erosion. The other part of the dam is the concrete section. The concrete section is where we have our, uh, our we have our spillway gates and we also have our regulating outlet. So we use that to pass flows through the dam. So I asked what went into dam operation and how that related to dam safety. We operate the dam according to a schedule, and this and it's called the, the water control diagram or the teacup diagram. In the winter time, we lower the reservoir level. We do that to capture storms. And then during conservation season, we begin to store water for conservation purposes. The risk at Fern Ridge Dam is driven by a combination of exposure to the Cascadia subduction zone in combination with uh, high reservoir levels. In a season like right now, when the reservoir level is held low, we bid a lower risk. The Portland District has a robust dam safety program. So all of our dams are inspected annually. In 2005, Fern Ridge Dam was partially reconstructed. Some sinkholes developed and we identified that the drain was beginning to fail in the dam. So the Corps of Engineers took it on and we excavated the, the downstream third of the dam for almost the entire length of the dam and reconstructed in 2005. And since 2005, the dam has performed well. Finally, I asked about the life cycle of the dam and what kind of improvements could be needed in the future. But every five years, we'll, we'll uh, We'll conduct what they, what's called a periodic inspection, and that inspection is a multidiscipline inspection with a number of engineers and geologists, along with our partners in operations maintenance, and we will inspect the entire dam. We will look at all the instrumentation data, and uh, you know, and make sure that the dam is functioning safely. So there really is no um, there is no maximum age for a for a dam structure. As long as the dam is is well operated and well maintained, it should last for a long time. So this is certainly a really impressive piece of equipment we've got here, and it's managed by extremely competent people. It's safe to say that there shouldn't be much concern. 